All right guys, what is up? Jen Fay, we're back with another video. Today we're gonna be taking a look at finishing workout that I did last week. Uh, this was a good one. It was designed to focus on different finishes at the rim while still incorporating some ball handling, shooting, all that kind of stuff as well. So we always start as usual with a warm up that's gonna include some sort of form shooting. Uh, we wanna break a sweat by taking a variety of shots near the basket. You never wanna just start a workout by shooting threes or doing something super intense because chances are your body's not gonna be loose yet. And if you have to change your shot by using other muscles to work harder to shoot from a distance because you're not warmed up, then chances are your shooting form's not gonna be very consistent. Try and spend at least five minutes focusing on shots in the lane, elbows, around the basket, floaters, all that. Because believe it or not, teams that finish well and in, in and around with the paint tend to win a lot more games because they're getting easy baskets and high percentage looks. So don't neglect those bank shots, the short pull-up jumpers, again, floaters and runners, because all those shots are gonna come down to making or breaking games. So you'll also notice that in this workout, I'm gonna be using a couple of different finishes that are not traditional ones that you might've learned, such as the inverted layup, also known as like a same hand, same foot finish, an opposite foot finish. It has a lot of different names, but this might be uncomfortable when you first try it, but I'm telling you that having the ability to finish off either foot and with both hands will take your game to the next level. When you use a same hand, same foot finish, your inside knee goes up and it automatically gives you another layer of protection from the defender as you get into your layup, making it harder to get blocked. In a game, you're not going to have time to think about which foot to jump off of, so if you can get used to using both, you will have way more options when finishing around the basket. The first step, finish off your outside leg, is also great for messing with the defender's timing because you're jumping one step earlier than normal. So you saw me doing not just regular layups with the inverted footwork, but even reverse layups, runners, and floaters also. So like I mentioned, I always want to incorporate some sort of ball handling into my workout. So once we get into the meat of the workout, before every finish, you'll see me pound the ball and get into a drop stance, where my ball side foot comes forward and the weak side foot drops back. This gets me into an athletic position and signals a drive, but it still allows me to bring my weak side foot back underneath me in case I wanted to shoot a jump shot. So so we start with the basic drop stance off a of pound dribble and then move into crossovers and between the legs into that drop. The finishes I'm focusing on are swing steps, euro steps, and veer finishes. So if you're a beginner or haven't mastered any of these moves yet, I would just focus on one for the entire workout to make sure you're getting better at that one thing. Because I've used these moves for a while, I can broaden my focus to touch on more than just one finish. For the swing step, the major key is to pound that last dribble as your opposite foot hits the ground and then immediately cross your ball side foot or over your frame, bringing the ball with you to the other side of your body. After you master the footwork, be conscious of how you're swinging the ball. You want to bring it low if the defense has high hands or if you're driving between bigger defenders, but you may want to bring the ball high around your head if you're sneaking through small defenders who are trying to reach at your waist. This is a great move to use if you are in transition or on a fast break and you have a defender on your hip that tries to cut you off, but instead you protect the ball and step across their body. For for the Euro step, work on planting either the inside or outside leg as your first step and then using the momentum from that step to push you diagonally forward as if you're trying to step around the defender. The same ball movement applies as a swing step, so be sure to keep the ball safe and away from the hands of the defense. The further you can reach on your Euro step by using the power from that first step, the more effective this move will be because you now have the defender completely behind you. This is a great move to use on a defender that is trying to take a charge or is at a standstill and a help defender also that's waiting for you at the basket is a great person to try a euro step on. The veer finish is the third finish we're going to go over. This is more of a power move that forces you to initiate contact with your defender in order to create space for your finish. It's the same footwork as a normal layup, but instead of that second step going straight towards the basket, you're going to push off your first step like in the euro step, but instead of stepping around your defender, I want you to step into them and bump them off your path. And then you're going to finish on the same side of the basket with the space that you just created. These can be two slower steps so that you stay on balance. Use this if your defender is riding your hip or there isn't any space to change direction on the other side of the floor. You can also use this against a bigger defender in order to try and draw a foul with the contact. 
We finished off the workout doing some shooting, simulating a catch at the top of the floor and having to square our body in the air to the basket. Toss the ball out and as the ball hits your hands, lift your feet and rotate towards the hoop, landing right into your jump shot in one fluid motion. Don't catch then rotate. It should all happen simultaneously and we don't want you to turn and then have to bend down because that's going to slow our release and stop our initial momentum. Make 10 shots and then turn and face the other direction. This is going to help you improve your footwork off the catch and your timing of hands and feet working together. This was a really fun workout and should probably take you around 30 to 45 minutes depending on how fast you make shots and the rest you take in between. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what kind of workouts you want to see in the future. Thanks for all your support. Subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more content. Let's keep growing the game.